All right, the infamous or famous Ryu Cancun, one of the cheapest all-inclusives in Mexico and by far the most popular Ryu in Cancun. So I got here at 2 p.m. and there wasn't much of a line at all, surprisingly, but it took forever. Service was really slow. Uh, I passed the time with a welcome drink, which was nice. I finally made it up to my room and the elevator ride up was actually quite enjoyable because it had glass windows, the views were spectacular. And once you get up here, uh, for $150 a night, uh, it's actually quite incredible. The views that are. The room itself is really, really basic. It was a tough transition coming from my $1,000 a night room at Planet Hollywood to this, but it does have some redeemable qualities. First of all, the bathroom is large. It has a dual vanity. The mini bar is absolutely stuffed. Of course, above that, you have the liquor dispenser. I call it the Four Horsemen, as much as you want, whenever you want. And I think once you get inside the room, everything is really, really basic, but by far the most noticeable and enjoyable attribute is the balcony. Again, from floor number 14, the views up here are really quite incredible. So coming off that Planet Hollywood trip, I was certainly exhausted. I just went to the buffet last night just to grab some quick food. Um, I feel that Ryu has actually made some strides in their food over the last couple years. I was able to find a few things that were actually pretty good. And then this morning I woke up and I went down and had some coffee at the sports bar. If you cannot find a coffee shop or if your Ryu does not have a coffee shop, go to the sports bar. It's open 24 hours. That's where you're gonna get your early morning or late night coffee. And then as far as today, the weather has not cooperated. It's pretty much been cloudy the entire time. I just used it as an opportunity to relax. We have three huge nights, two full days in front of us. Uh, of course, we have to hit up two Ryu parties, both the day one and the night one. Of course, the beach and the pool, but it all starts right now with dinner. Uh, I'm gonna head down to the main area where all the restaurants are. And tonight, I'm thinking Italian. They really put a hamper on this entire state. Now I have 36 hours to do everything you're about to see. So wish me luck. I just finished up at the lobby bar and now I'm headed to the pool. I saw at least a couple. I'm gonna try to do all of them this afternoon. And then after that, I'm headed over to Ryu Karib for the Ryu party, the pink party. That will hopefully be insane. Ryu Karib is where all the Ryu Cancun parties are. There are two during the day and two during the night. Uh, it is two miles away from Ryu Cancun. Shuttles run every 15 minutes. I walked it. I needed to get some steps in. I'm about two meals away from an eating disorder. So it took me about 35 minutes to walk over here. I'm gonna walk back as well. But as of this moment, the party should be peaking. I'm gonna jump in there for an hour or two, come back out and give you a huge update. <laughs> So first things first, this hotel has a fatal flaw, or at least a percentage of you will view it as a fatal flaw and decide not to book here. The rest of you will take it under advisement and definitely when you come here will be like, yeah, that's, that's a problem. So I'll touch on that uh, later in the video. Uh, the Italian restaurant was a restaurant in name only. And that's the way 50% of these Ryu venues are going to be. You really have to look at the menu ahead of time. There were only six choices on the menu. The rest was a buffet. So it was really 80% buffet and 20% restaurant. And the buffet itself was 
more underwhelming than the main buffet that's here. Regarding the pools, I have two main thoughts. The first one is that they were very adult forward. I hardly saw any kids out there. And this hotel in general is very adult forward. So those of you looking for an adult experience, but maybe don't want to pay the premium for the adult only price tag, this is going to be an option. Uh, secondly is that simplicity is beauty. Ryu pools are never really amazing. Now these were more stylish than your typical Ryu pool, but they really weren't all that beautiful, but they are waterfront, they're ocean's edge, they have an infinity concept behind them. And because of that, it just made them breathtaking. For the price of this hotel, the Ryu pools were spectacular. And then there is the Ryu party, which was a disappointment, only because I've been to the ones in Cabo and in Punta Cana. If I had not been to those, I wouldn't know any better. I wouldn't know the difference, but certainly underwhelming. Considering Cancun is high in energy and also a top Caribbean destination, also considering that it is Ryu mania here, I think there are at least eight properties in the Cancun area, all of them having access to the Ryu party. And when you take into account that information, it was highly, highly underpopulated. Uh, the DJ was not as good as what I've experienced at the previous two Ryu parties. And overall, it was just kind of a blah experience for lack of a better word. Ryu Karib is located at the very end of the hotel zone. And for those staying in the heart of Cancun at the most popular Ryus, getting there can be a little bit of a chore. And also, Ryu Karib is not the venue for this Ryu party. They're probably forced to put it there because it's a newer property and it has the pool set up that they need. But I got to Ryu Karib, walked outside, and I could not hear any music. I didn't see any people. The crowd was really, really relaxed and chill. And at that moment, I knew we had a problem. So after the Ryu party ended, I walked back, which was a major mistake. Just after being outside all day, I was exhausted. I got here and the sun was going down and my energy was waning, so I just bolted to the buffet. It was Mexican night and I appreciate the attempt at variety. These buffets get very predictable very quickly. Uh, I would never call Ryu food good, far from it, but it's much better than it used to be, especially at the buffets. I think they're making strides in the right direction. <laughs> If it's just a place to spend an hour or two, maybe it's where you begin your day, end your night, or just take a little bit of a break to relax and rejuvenate. Uh, maybe you just wanna put your feet in the sand, get a little wet, or take that important vacation picture. If that's the beach for you, then the beach here at Ryu Cancun is gonna be more than acceptable. But if the beach is your happy place, it is the cornerstone of your vacation, it is one of the biggest factors for you, then the beach here at Ryu Cancun is gonna be a non-starter. The seating is makeshift, the strand is ultra skinny, and there's absolutely zero privacy. It isn't the worst beach I've seen though, not by a long shot, and it does have some redeemable qualities. The water's really gentle, there wasn't much seaweed, and surprisingly for a Ryu, there was service out there. So it's my last night here at Ryu Cancun and I just cannot do another meal. I'm going on week four in Cancun and I especially cannot do another Ryu dinner. I think I've driven home the point of the Ryu food in this video and in others. It is not gonna be a positive part of your Ryu experience. What is gonna be a positive part of your Ryu experience is the fun, the energy, the action, the excitement. That is what you go to a Ryu for and that's what I wanna focus on during these last few hours. So I am gonna go over to Ryu Karib and check out the Neon Party. And then after that, energy, time, and coherence willing, I'm gonna check out some nightlife here at Ryu Cancun. That is what I'm talking about. What a difference 24 hours can make. That was a night and day change, pardon the pun, from what I experienced just 24 hours ago. Maybe it was the wind yesterday, maybe it was the weather, maybe it was a fluke, quite possibly it was the DJ. So now I don't know what to think about Ryu Kareem. I stand by all my criticisms. They're all valid, they're all fact. But 
Now I'm curious, is this hotel good? Is it bad? What's the party scene like? If you want me to come back here for a week, hit all four parties, party for a week straight, maybe go to Coco Bongo and stuff like that as well, drop a like. If I get 6,000 likes in six months, I'll come back here and do a special trip just for you. So I almost didn't go out after the neon party last night. I walked through the door here and I was so tired. But I forced myself to do so and I'm really glad that I did because there are nightlife options here as well. That's not always a guarantee at Reuse. Uh, the lobby bar was packed all the way up until close and then after it did, I walked outside and I was surprised to find people out here gathering, talking well after midnight. And then I went to the club. I forgot there was a club here and I walked in and it continued to build in strength as the night progressed when I left. Like at 12.30 or one o'clock, it was still at its peak. There were people in the sports bar as well. Uh, I forgot to mention this yesterday, there are grab and go food options there. If you're hungry or desperate, I think it's really cool. Uh, also, that's gonna be your late night spot, your late, late night spot, your early morning coffee spot. You get a drink or food there at any time of day. And I think that's a really big little thing. Uh, as of right now, I have an hour left on property. My trip would be incomplete if I did not do the breakfast buffet. I'm gonna show you that for sure. And after that, I'm gonna head upstairs and tell you what I really think about this property. As I stay at more and more reuse, I find myself eating at the buffet more and more. It's become my primary place to eat. It certainly has the most accessible hours. It easily has the largest variety. And at many times, at many reuse, it is the best quality. As I have in the past this week, I essentially lived off of omelets and donuts. And if you're flexible and fair, you will find something that is decent and palatable. So getting back on topic, the second big little thing would be the crowd. As I mentioned earlier, it is adults forward. It's not quite adults only, but it is a very adult crowd. And then lastly would be the elevator. The elevators are brutal here. They are brutal. Now, it is only during peak times, mornings, lunchtime, before dinner, after dinner, they are brutal. I've walked the stairs 14 flights on multiple occasions. There is only one bank of elevators for this entire giant 15 story complex, and it certainly just isn't enough. If you are impatient, annoyed easily, or just straight up claustrophobic, this is not gonna be the property for you. Okay, Hotel Ryu Cancun, let's wrap this video up. Three negatives, three positives, and my overall rating of the property. Let's get the negatives out of the way as usual. The first one is the rooms. Now I did emphasize that this is one of the cheapest all-inclusives in Mexico and I did point out all the highlights as well but overall in totality this room is going to be a disappointment. It is much more closer to a college dorm room than it is what you would find at a typical Caribbean resort. Negative number two would be the food. I've talked about this ad nauseum. I'm going to try not to mention it again but I do have to make it official. When you come to this Ryu and Ryu's in general Food is gonna be one of the most supremely underwhelming aspects of the stay. And lastly, number three, the beach. If the beach is your happy place, if you've been to other Cancun beaches, or if you put a lot of emphasis on it, and it's the reason you're coming to Cancun, uh, the beach here is gonna be lackluster at best. But this hotel is $150 a night. It's hard to stay in a Cancun hotel zone for that price, let alone have drinks and food included. So a lot of the negatives can be dismissed just based off price alone. What about the positives? I think the first major positive would be the pools. Simplicity is beauty. They're not the most stylish, they're not the largest. They certainly aren't the most luxurious, but they are waterfront, they have infinity edges. The pool experience here is borderline spectacular, and while I was out there, I could not believe I was at a Rio. Drinks would be number two. Now, I'm not saying they're the most premium or the strongest, but getting one wasn't a problem. All the bars were well-staffed. 
Bartenders were quick, warm, responsive, friendly. I even saw service at the beach, which I don't think I've seen at a Ryu before in my life. A lot of bars had cocktail lists, so if you are sick of the boring and predictable all-inclusive drinks, and if you're looking for something creative, unique, different, fresh, Ryu Cancun is gonna have you covered. And number three, lastly, most importantly, the value. I feel like I mention this in every Ryu video, but I think that's why you stay at a Ryu. You get so much for your money. For this price, I'd be happy just to have a room in Cancun, but Ryu gives you so much more. You get food, you get drinks, you get location, and you get the Ryu experience. With all that being said, I'm gonna give Hotel Ryu Cancun a three. It bears the name of its city for a reason. This hotel delivers way over its budget. Uh, I can certainly see why it is the number one Ryu in Cancun.